You are listening to the case presentations in medicine, central nervous system, a case of paraplegia. A 45-year-old right-handed male Hindu patient, Ram Rao, teacher by occupation, staying at Gokak, comes with complaints of loss of power in both the legs since four days. The patient was apparently all right 10 days back when he developed moderate degree fever without chills which lasted for about four days. Associated with the fever, he also had dry cough and colds which has now subsided. Four days back, the patient experienced cramp-like pains in the left lower limb. First, he felt difficulty in holding the chapels, then in getting up from the sitting position. Then he noticed weakness in the right leg also. And now he is unable to move both the lower limbs. The weakness has developed over a period of two days. What does this sequence of events tell you? Sir, this is an acute onset paraplegia which has followed an episode of fever, probably viral, and the paraplegia has developed over two days, starting with the distal muscles and progressing proximally. There is no history of tingling numbness in the legs, no history of loss of sensations in the legs, no history of retention of urine, no history of loss of bladder or bowel control. Well, how is it that bladder is not involved in paraplegia? Sir, the bladder may not be involved in guillain barre syndrome, motor neuron diseases, and demyelinating diseases. It is usually involved in acute transverse myelitis, traumatic paraplegia, cord compression due to tuberculosis of spine or tumor, and anterior spinal artery thrombosis. Proceed. There is no history of flexor spasms, no history of weakness in the upper limbs, no history of dysphagia, nasal regurgitation, dribbling of saliva, diplopia or disturbance of vision. Why did you ask that? To know whether cranial nerves are involved. When will cranial nerves be affected in association with paraplegia? In multiple sclerosis and in guillain barre syndrome of ascending type. There is no history of difficulty in breathing, no history of loss of consciousness. Why? For possible intracranial cause. What are the intracranial causes of paraplegia? Thrombosis of an unpaired anterior cerebral artery, tumor of Fox cerebri, anterior sagittal vein thrombosis and median pontine lesions. Regarding history of etiology, there is history of fever and respiratory tract infection one week prior to the onset of paraplegia, no history of any vaccination, no history of dog bite. What is the importance of history of vaccination? For post-vaccination myelitis and guillain barre syndrome, which may occasionally follow the anti-rabies vaccine, especially the sheep brain vaccine. It may also rarely occur after mumps, measles and diphtheria vaccines. There is no history of trauma, fall from height or injury to the spine. There is no history of backache, no history suggestive of tuberculosis, that is, no history of chronic cough, expectoration, hemoptysis, fever or weight loss. How does tuberculosis cause paraplegia? Compression of the cord by a cold abscess or a bone piece following destruction and collapse of the bodies of the vertebrae in tuberculosis of spine. Secondly, intraspinal granuloma formation and vasculitis of the spinal artery. There is no history of swelling over the back, no history of root pains, no history of headache, vomiting or convulsions, no history of infective lesion over the face, no history of exposure to venereal diseases, no history of chronic alcoholism, no history of repeated attacks of acute abdominal pain, no history of weight loss, anorexia or other constitutional symptoms suggestive of malignancy, no history of urinary symptoms, hiccups or diminished urine output. Past history, there is no history of diabetes, no history of any neurological problem of paresis in the past. Family history, there is no history of limb weakness in any other family member. In which conditions can paraplegia be familial? In familial spastic paralysis, subacute combined degeneration and lethirism. Personal history, the patient is non-smoker, non-alcoholic, vegetarian, previous sleep, bowel and bladder habits were normal. On general examination, the patient is middle-aged, moderately built, fairly nourished, conscious and cooperative, he is right-handed, attitude, he is bedridden with both lower limbs lying externally rotated and extended at the hips, knees and ankles. What does this attitude suggest? This may be a paraplegia in extension or flaccid that is lower motor neuron type of paraplegia. I will have to check the tone to differentiate. What is paraplegia in extension? In upper motor neuron lesions like transverse myelitis or injury, if the destruction is incomplete, affecting only the pyramidal tracts, then there is increased tone of the extensors with the hip extended and adducted 
knee extended and ankle plantar flexed this is paraplegia in extension there is clasp knife type of rigidity and deep reflexes are exaggerated but if the destruction is complete involving extra pyramidal tracts also then the limbs become fixed in the attitude of flexion at the hip and knee with dorsiflexion of the ankles and toes which is termed as paraplegia in flexion it is an attitude of flexor withdrawal reflex in slow growing lesions there will first be paraplegia in extension followed by flexor spasms and then paraplegia in flexion paraplegia in extension flexor spasms paraplegia in flexion what is a flexor spasm it is a sudden involuntary contraction of all the flexors of the lower limbs in a paraplegic patient it indicates progressive damage to the rubrospinal that is extra pyramidal tracts once the damage is complete the limbs will develop a constant flexion attitude that is paraplegia in flexion yes what is mass reflex when paraplegia in flexion is developing any stimulation below the level of the lesion results in a flexor withdrawal reflex plus reflex evacuation of bladder and rectum with sweating this is termed as the mass reflex proceed there is no soiling of the bed with urine vital signs are normal that is pulse is 82 per minute regular good volume normal character and equal on both the sides blood pressure is 130 by 80 mm of mercury in the right arm in supine position and respiration is 18 per minute regular